Amen. Let's bow our heads and pray for us all. Most High, Father, today we thank you that you have brought joy and gladness unto us today. Others are mourning, but you have given us joy. The joy we have in Christ Jesus is incomparable. Today we are about to hear from you again. Master, we ask of your spirit that gives understanding and knowledge. Let it come and equip our hearts. Whatever what you are going to learn today, help us to transform it in our lives. Give us the power to listen. The Bible says in John chapter 8, verse 23, that those who are from God, they listen to God's word. As your children proceeded from you, let them hear your word. Not what I know, but what you have inspired us to talk about. We thank you, we honor you today, that your precious is here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 If you have a mobile phone today, I want you to use it to record what I'm going to tell you or what you're going to learn. Or if you have a pen and paper, write down. The shortest pencil is better than the longest memory. Write something down. You're going to learn things together today that will shock you. You have to transform God's word into power. You're not going to preach, you're going to learn. I'm going to teach you some things that God laid upon my heart some few days ago. And then we learn from it. Most of you are students. So I want you to be serious with this thing. Amen. Amen. I'm going to give you an example here. Yeah? I write this thing down on a piece of paper and I give it to you. And when you read it, it's read. Take a cup of water. Add five handful of gari into it. Cover it for ten minutes. Eat it deliciously. I have done it. That is what you have read, right? Yeah. So it's you to convert the words I have written into power. What are you going to do? You're going to take a bowl, take the gari, take the water, go back to the instructions again, and you read it. Take the water, one cup. You read it, you take one cup. Take the gari, five full, uh, five and full, right? And put it in. Cover for how many minutes? 10 minutes. When you have followed the instructions on the paper critically, and the five minutes or the 10 minutes is over, and you open the lid. Do you have soakings? No, what do you have? A bowl of gari, right? That's how the instruction says. I'll give you another instructions again, and I said, take one glass of water, one handful of gari, put into it, add sugar and stir and enjoy. What have you got? So kids. You see, there are two different instructions. But when you convert the words on the paper into an action, you get a result. Is that not it? Yes. Now, if that be the case, how many times have you read the Bible and convert something out of the Bible into action? We read it, we close it and we move. We forget that that contains an action word. You don't have time. You have only 30 minutes. So take care of what is coming. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the topic of what we are going to learn today is, where is your vision? Mm. Who has ever had a vision before? See, we are, our, our hands are down. Because we think vision is something strange, something spiritual. Mm. That you must have a dream and God is doing... No, 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 no. Please, those are the what are you doing there? <laughs> okay, please hurry up and come. The train has started leaving. Take your Bibles with me. We are going to read one, two, three scriptures today. Three scriptures. You don't have time, so please hurry up. Who has opened to Proverbs chapter 29, verses 18? Lydia, are you here? Open your Bible with me to Proverbs 29, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Or take your pen and write, I have it on the projector. You see, now you are going to the table of contents. We are not going to set where I'm Proverbs is. Someone is reading. Read it for us, please. Okay. I'm reading from um, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. Uh -huh. Where there is no vision for people perish, but in that keeps the law. Amen. 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 
Okay. Is that like you read the next one? You can't find it. What is progress in Lebanon? Progress. Proverbs twenty nine eighteen. Lydia, please read what is on the screen. Lydia, it's here. You can read it from there. Imano, son of Henry, what's on the screen? Where there is no vision, the people perish, but, but he that is <coughs> the Lord, happy is he. Good. Uh, who has an NIV? Do you have NIV? No, mm -hmm. Okay. Who has NIV version? Nobody has the NIV. Mm -hmm. Bible. Read your version, let's see. Verses 18. Mm -hmm. Stand, please. Where there is no vision, is where there is no vision, the people perish, but the God keeps the same thing. I'm reading from the NIV version. Yes. Proverbs chapter 29, verses 18. Yes. Where there is no revelation, the people cast out the strength. But blessed is he who keeps the Lord. Amen. 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 Where there is no revelation, <coughs> people cast off restraint. But happy is he who keeps the law. Now, let me explain what the NIV said. Where there is no restraint, people cast off restraint. Let's pick a, a cola, for, for example. Yeah, Cola has a lid on top of it. Mm -hmm. When you shake it, it will keep its stand. Or when you shake it and you take the lid off, what will happen? It's good. What is preventing the cola to spill out? The lid. The lid. First, they will call it the restraint. Something must restrain you, or it must restrain the cola from spilling out. But the King James says, where there is no vision, people perish. Now, where is vision? Now, as we had a vision before, nobody said, I have. That means we are all perishing. Is that correct? Who has ever had a vision before? Raise your hands. Don't feel shy. Good. All right. Who has a vision now? So that means only three people will survive. The rest will perish. You see how it goes? Now, let's go and take this word into action and see what it means. Now, first of all, what is vision at all? If I say who has a vision, you don't know what vision is. Then you don't know what you have, right? right. So what is vision? Question. I told you I'm not preaching, you're learning. Talk to me. What is vision? I won't call you. Lydia, talk to me. What is vision? I think it's something that uh, we see and that is going to happen. Thank you. Please sit down. Let's clap for her. It's something that you see that is going to happen, right? Give yours. Uh -huh. um, VC, I don't know what they're talking to. Don't worry, just bring it up. <laughs> but it says how you look at something. How you look at something. And, uh, how you view something. The way you view something, how you look at something. I don't feel like this, or you feel like that, or you let that one view. That's how you view them. I mean, okay. Now, now try your last shot. Let's go. Vision. Uh, something that you will see now and that it will come in the future. Okay. You see there's something now and that will come in the future. I'm not. You want to try? Well, I'm sorry. No, what you achieve. What you achieve. Okay. All of you have. Uh-huh. James? Yeah, it's, it means something you have in mind. Something you have in mind. Um, but not now, but in the future. In the future. Good. Let's clap for James too. You see, everybody has an answer. If I leave you all, everybody will say something. But let's see. If what you had in mind is what we have here. Vision is the mental image of what the future could be or can be. Is a mental image of what the future could be or will be. For example, I see myself in a seal sitting in the parliament. It's an image I'm having about myself with a big book in front of me, passing laws. That's a mental image I have now of what future could be. You see that? Uh -huh. Another one can say, a vision is the ability to plan.
think for the future with imagination or wisdom. Who wanna be a doctor here? Nobody? Who wanna be a nurse here? Who wanna be a pilot? Come on, girls. So are we all going to land in the fabric? <laughs> As our parents are doing now. <laughs> okay, now give me one then. Who wanna be a therapist? Physiotherapist or psychotherapist? Psycho. Psychotherapist. Okay. Who wanna be a dentist here? <laughs> Who wanna be a lawyer here? Imelda. Lawyer. Imelda. Imelda. She's not here. Who wanna be a farmer here? <laughs> Who wanna be sweeping the streets here? Mr. James, you are an accountant, right? Yeah. Okay. Who want to be an accountant? Good. Who want to be uh, a pastor here? Nobody. You want to be a pastor. You see, no matter what you want to become in future, you have a picture of it in your mind right now. Right. Am I right? Yeah, right. So, look at my definition. The vision is the mental image of what the future could be. So, let's assume that I want to be a pilot. You'll be watching the KLM advertisement on the Brussels Airlines. How these pilots, they take your bags and they are walking to the airplane. That mental image is in your mind. Second uh, um, definition, you plan towards what you have view in your mind. One day I want to be a pilot flying the Ghana Airways with my suit and I'm walking to the airplane. That's the mental image. But then you have to plan it with wisdom. Mm? If I want to be a pilot and I'm now 22 years, I don't want no woman to come and cross my path. No. I don't want to give me a belly. And then I have to stop my education and come and take off the pregnancy of the baby. Hell not. You want to terminate my mental image. <laughs> so let me have the question again. Who has a vision here? Aha. You see now? Yes. So vision is not what the Bible says. Jesus is coming, rapture. No, 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 no. <laughs> Now, let's get deeper. So, before we finish, you know where you are, you know what you're going to be in the future. Amen. Amen. Vision involves thinking, planning, and imagination. Like I asked just now, who want to be a, a doctor? When you go to the hospital, you see them wearing that white thing with a scope uh, around their neck and a pen there. You see how beautiful, how nice they look? Is that not it? Who want to be a doctor here? Let's see, Shaki want to be a doctor, right? Amen. And uh, Shaki will be always taking off this doctor walking majestically on the ward, visiting the patients. That is the mental image Shaki is having. By uh, the third definition, you have to think, how am I going to be like this man? Mm. Mm. Then you begin to Google, how can I be a doctor? Study med medication, uh, chemistry, biology, mathematics. Uh, who language you can? Then you begin to plan, think, right? Concerning what you have already what? Imagine. If you want to be a farmer, mm, go, go farm. Very big. Ooh. <laughs> you begin to <laughs> how to find a catalyst. <laughs> how to get a labor stand. <laughs> so your future, you begin to imagine it now. Now this vision you are talking about, it has components, it has parts attached to it. Vision is not just vision, then you have it. One thing that vision has is, we call something foresight. Foresight is when you look afar and think about five to ten years ahead. You are all young people, you are youth. How old are you now? Sixteen? <laughs> Fourteen. Let's plan ten years from now. You will have many years? Twenty-four. So imagine uh, baby Makati want to be a doctor. He has 10 years now ahead. So like I'm 14 years. Mm, doctors go to school for this, 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 this. Okay. Then you begin to imagine, begin to plan, right? And you begin to look ahead of you. We call that foresight. The second component of vision is insight. Insight is when you sit down critically to analyze what you are thinking. Hey, be my bomb ass. How can I go and be a doctor? Doctor requires good mathematics. You are looking now what your current situation is. And the last component of vision, we call it hindsight. Hindsight helps you to see what is behind you. Hey, last time I failed chemistry, I failed biology. Hmm. You see, I'm going to fail again. 
You cannot be a doctor. You are using what is behind you to propel you want to go forward. Question again, who want to be a doctor? <laughs> I'm asking, who want to be a doctor? Nobody. Why? Because I can conclude that everybody here is bad with mass. No. 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 I'm carrying. Everybody is bad with chemistry. No. No. Everybody is bad with biology. No. So if all these three apps, why don't you want to be a doctor then? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming. Thank you. Okay, please, one second. General science. How of you are bad with general science? I don't do general science. Yes. Because it's taking quite too long. It takes too long. You take too long. You can't plant a very much ahead of 10 years. You see now, you see it's 10 years too long. Now she's 14. Hmm? 10 years you've been alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but after your middle bar is uh, 18 yes. years, yes. you have another 9 years to go. Good. So in total, how many years? You'll be like 27 before you graduate. Hey. 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 No problem. 27. No problem. Now hold on. Vision is not for It's not now. It's not vision is not for now. It's for the future. That's why I said the first one is the first one is looking ahead. I'm only talking in terms of the doctor. Ah, okay. Okay. What about the next? No, but don't say that because being a nurse also. It's it not. It's not like that. Then. No, no. It takes now four years. Yeah, four years but no you have also have to be good in maths yes. and certain things uh -huh. because it's because being nurse doesn't mean that it's just like that. If somebody is sick, you have to also have the idea what uh -huh. that person is having Medication. before you tell the doctor yeah, this what is. So it's not. It's, no, no, it's not Ghana no, nurse. Yeah, but it's four years. It's four years. It's four years. But it's not also just like that. You have to work hard. Nah, look at that. Ghana, you can buy it. Robert is talking, please. I saw the Can you come on? This one. So standing there looking for, and you are talking about a nurse. It's not only the theoretical things that you need to do. It's also helping and caring about people. It's not just doing something that you like. It's you are going to do for all your life. Yes. Good. Something you like, not because you're studying and then going to work. Good. Thank you. So you want to be a nurse? Who do you want to become in the future? Me. Yes, you. <laughs> Accountant. Good. You picture yourself sitting... Listen here. Have you ever pictured yourself sitting in an office with a computer in front of you, pencil in your hand, calculator beside you, coffee there on the left-hand side, telling your secretary to bring those files in? Can you picture that one? Yeah. Is it happening now? Yes. Is it not something that's about to happen in the future? Yes. That's what we are talking about. So we are going to now, that's what I'm saying, we have to transform what the Bible says into an action. Vision is not sleeping as in the rapture and I didn't go there, we're talking things on the WhatsApp. Vision is your career in the future for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Now let's get deeper. Listen to this fact about um, vision. A man without vision is a man without a future. Mm -hmm. If you are here, you have no mental image of what your next year is going to be, then you have a problem. Otherwise, that's why I said, hey, so are we going to be in the fabric like our parents did? No. We were born here, or even when we were little, we were here. The education, we have it now. Secondly, a man with that future is a man who always goes to his past. Mm. You know where your past is? Yes. Yeah. Where is your mama working? School market. You're going to join her in the school market in the past. We don't want that. So we're going to take our Amen. vision higher. Two, I'm not saying that school market is not a good job, eh? But you can do better. Far better. <laughs> Example is that when Israel lost his vision to the promised land, they longed for their slave masters, asking them, ask Aaron to give them a God to bring them. When they were coming out of Egypt, and they found that Moses was in the wilderness for a long time. Say, Ah, did you bring us here to die? If you were in Egypt by now, you did it by other. Aaron, make us a God. They were thinking about their past. Instead of them to have a memory of what lies ahead of them, 
God gave them a mental picture. I'm taking you to a land that is flowing with milk and so they have to make that picture in their mind. But when Aaron or uh, uh, Moses had taken too long, they were to go back to their past. So if you don't have a future plan or imagination of what you want to be in the future, you want to go back to Africa and read Kokova. <laughs> if you see your current situation in your future plan, then you are in trouble. If you see your current situation in your future plan, then you are in trouble. My brother wants to be an accountant, but he's very bad at maths. Hey, I want to picture myself an accountant before the bureau with people here and there, but my mask club needs. Every time I mask, every time they were in trouble. Work your mask out. It's an example I just gave. Mm -hmm. Are you following me here? Mm -hmm. We are teaching, eh? If you have any questions, just raise up your hands. We will fix it back together. Again, if you don't know where you are going, you will never know when you have arrived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes? Mm -hmm. Join the bus. Click the man uh, put this stamp on your ticket or in that machine. Uh, let me see. Here in that. Oh. No, here is it. That's book. Oh, that's book strat. <clears throat> what are you going? I don't know. Yeah, you never know when you have arrived. You stop. You stop there? No, you stop. You turn around. Then the whole day be in the bus. So if you are here, you don't have any mental image of what you want to be in the future. Then you never know whether you have arrived arrived there or not. The man wanted to be a police officer, but at the same time, he wanted to be a, a, a computer engineer. Papa, how can that be said? I can. There are police officers who don't, you don't see them on the street. They are in the bureau always working, the IT specialist. Oh, yeah, so that can say that can. Now he has a mental vision of what is going to be tomorrow. You understand how it goes, eh? That's why the Bible says if you don't have vision, you do what? You perish. Because you don't have any idea what your next 20 years is going to be like. So you're going to end up, going to fake the strat. Okay, what is that? Whilst your mates are behind the computer and air conditioning the seat on. <laughs> so if you compare your life, are you not perishing? Yes. Talk to me now. Yes. <laughs> the Bible doesn't lie. Amen. Amen. Again, if you don't know what you want, you will never know when you have got it. You don't know what you, you want to have. So the next thing is welcome. The next one. If you don't know what you are looking for, everything is welcome. The baby have a a No. You have to be selective. Who wanna be a lawyer here? No. Only a man wanna be a lawyer. No problem. Who wanna be a doctor again? I'm a Okay. Are you are, are you a student or you work? I'm a student. Studying what? <laughs> <laughs> No, I work. You work. <laughs> <laughs> you, you work, but I've never seen a tight guy before. Are you really working? No, eh? Deal tight, Mary. So deal tight, tight. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You can be angry with me. I don't care, crowd. But you go deal tight to school, right? I know. Okay. Next year, are you starting school? Don't have vision. I don't have vision. Be careful, don't perish. Okay? No, 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 no. That shall not perish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mama Pebby, our um, designer. designer. What you just graduated, right? As what? Design designer. Clothes designer. <laughs> do you perish? Uh, uh, no. Do you pick, sorry, sorry. Do you picture yourself like Givenchy and those chichi -chi guys? Yes. That's it. Gucci, Givenchy, Sakuchi. Versace and those teachers. Now, let's look at this one. Who knows what a telescope is? Let the picture appear on the screen. What do you use a telescope for? To look at far. A person who wants to have a great future must be able to look and think ahead and picture himself as he wants to be in 10 or 20 years from now. So you are 14. Have a telescope kind of mind to look ahead and say, wow, I'm now 14. Before I meet Mr. Roberts to get married to me, at the age of 30, I must... Oh, it's a sample, eh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't say it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Okay, okay. Let, let, let me reverse it. Touch is too much. No, it's normal. It's normal. It's normal. Okay. All right. 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 
choice. Is it is it do you want to get married in the future? Yes. And have kids? What age? What age do you want to get married? Okay. Okay. Name the number. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. That means how many years from now? Thirteen. So now you are going to look into that telescope to look at far. Thirteen years from now, my mister must be by my side, right? And before you marry, you have to graduate from schools, right? To become a what do you want to become in the future? Architect to take click about and uh, break it, that's what they uh -huh. You see now, the gap, she has 13 years of time. Look at it, eh? Put that one in the telescope and see. When you begin to picture ahead of you, that means you have a vision. Then you plan towards it. Foresight is looking ahead, knowing what's ahead of you in five to 10 years, but you have 13 years. Is it achievable? Yes. So, Nana, you are now how many years now? 16. 16. You are studying to become an accountant. accountant. So when 10 years time to become 26, you are in a high office, that you have to look into the telescope from now to the office you want to sit. Amen. Amen. And I can hear you laughing. The next question is coming to you. <laughs> and we call the second component of vision insight. Insight is like looking into a microscope. microscope to look at the details. When you go to hospital, you say, go to lab. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You put a small urine or blood on that slide, they put under the machine. Hey, what are we seeing? <laughs> we can see cockroaches that are still in your blood. <laughs> hey! That means you are going to look at things in its details. She want to be an architect, 14 years to 27 years. Let me sit down. Can I hold the pencil firmly? Do I need, you see, to begin to check those things, then you balance things well. That will help you to reach your vision. Table designer, uh, club designer. That's how it works, right? You buy the material, you check the material, you check the person you want to show the thing for. Eric is a kind of slim guy. You need, you see, begin to check the in, Insights. So vision is not just seeing things and uh, Jesus coming after you. No. <laughs> and the last part of I picked this one from my driving school book. The last part of uh, vision we call the hindsight. What is behind you? It always helps you to shape what's ahead of you. When you are driving a car, how many people drive here? You drive to the top. Now you are looking ahead of you to reach Amsterdam. But you have to look sometimes in the inside mirror. Now nobody crash you or nobody uh, overtake you wrongly, both sides, right? Uh -huh. So the hind side is like a mirror in the car. They help you to correct your path. Sometimes you must leave things behind you. Bad friends, leave them behind you. Otherwise you can never reach where you're going. There are people you see them in your inside mirror and say, bye bye, here I go. <laughs> because they can drag you back. Without a hindsight, you can't have a clear vision. So you are 14 now. That guy has been texting you and texting you, whatsapping you, whatsapping you. Put him in your real view mirror and say, my friend, you are in my hindsight. Let me continue my journey. Because why? You have a full sight and a vision. The Bible says, if you don't have a vision, you do what? You perish. If you don't have an insight, a hindsight, and a foresight, perish. You perish doesn't mean you die. Your life will be reckless. Yeah, it will be very reckless. You will not enjoy it. When I went to Ghana October last year, my friends, our schoolmates for 25 years ago, some of them are doctors, lawyers, bankers. Me, myself, I was there too. <laughs> and you see those who couldn't making alcohol their best friend. In fact, some of them look like 80 years. <laughs> You see, and we have to force them and let them feel comfortable with us. Some of them, we give them their coat, they can't even wear a coat. But back in those days, they were very good at certain subjects. Mm -hmm. This is what we call you are perishing. We all had a dream together, we all had a vision together. But how come some of them could not make it? Because they, they lost these three components. So, in this your youthful stage, 
make your vision very, very important for yourself. Make sure that every step you take, you bring one of these things in. Amen. Amen. Any questions so far? Amen. Any questions? We don't have time, so I think I will end very soon. Okay. Next week, we continue the part two. Yes? If you have a vision, you see that then we should focus on our vision, like vision and those things. Like, okay. If you're focusing on vision, like yes. uh, 10 years and you will be missing the whole <laughs> thing. Right? So, <laughs> like, you know, balance things. <laughs> All right. Let, let, me, let me answer the question with this one. <laughs> Are you here? Joel chapter, I think, no, the one for Habakkuk is even better, but we do that one next week. Is that somebody coming here next week? Okay. Okay. Let me answer your question here. The fact that you have to have a vision and a foresight for about 10, 20 years ahead doesn't mean you shouldn't make friends. Make friends. But the friend you should make, bring the inside part of the vision into it. Can this my friend help me to achieve that vision I have? Mm -hmm. That's the inside. You're going to put things clearly in perspective. Like putting that thing under the microscope to, to assess it. Let me go back. This one. Inside is looking deep into details of what is ahead. And you have this, your friend, who always says, Oh, Jeff, Jeff, let's go to town and destroy why because today there's no thing to do. Teacher didn't come to school. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me put on my microscope glasses. Is this guy helping me? This three hours, I can read three chapters. Otherwise, I cannot check the vision ahead. Hmm, microscope. Uh, is what I'm seeing correct? No. Oh, Dad, I would have had to, but my mother has sent me to go to a dentist for something. So please, I cannot go. You don't have friend. And now we say, hey, Jeffy, have you finished the homework that teacher gave us to us? No, I can't solve it. Can you kind of do it together? Hmm, moment, can I call you back in a minute? You consult your microscope. Look into details. Did I not tell me now it's going to help me? Oh, no, no, yeah, come, let's go and do it. You begin to shape your friendship. The last part, it brings you discipline. Hmm? You can test girls, but will that help you to achieve that aim? If not, put them in your hindsight. Let them correct you, yeah. Hmm. Have I answered you? The girls, they are plenty. Don't worry, there are plenty. Beautiful Lydia is friends. there. Uh, what is your name? Gisela. <laughs> How old are you? 14. Gisela is there. Yes, 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 there. Hey. That one, that one is let, let me ask more 10 minutes that we, we close because we don't have time. Uh -huh. Joel chapter 2 verses 29 says, And afterward I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Upon how many people? All. Oh. How many people? All. Oh. So are you included? Yes. yes. And when that happens, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old man will dream dreams. The last one says, and your young man see Young man. And your young man shall see visions. Who is old here? Opa. Are we not all young here? Opa. We shall see our visions lying ahead. Steve Jobs, who knows him? The guy who made the iPhone. He had a vision. Mm -hmm. He started from somewhere. He said, no, I have to compartmentalize, make the mobile phone smaller, or a computer smaller, so that I could fit in people's pocket. That was his vision. Did, was he able to achieve it? Yeah. Yes. Mm? So, all of you here, we have visions. Now, what is here, the Bible, people have spiritualized this quotation that when the Holy Spirit comes, you might be shaking your hands. <laughs> hey! When the Spirit comes, you have 
clear mentality to think. Don't spooky, spooky things in the Bible like that. No. So if you are, come and sit here. Yes. You are added today, yeah? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, so when you take the scriptures out of the Bible, don't spooky, spooky it. Translate it to fit your life. He said, You shall have vision. After what is vision? Vision is a man. They begin to ask questions, learn, study. I always open my phone to every person to ask me questions. Three days ago, when I couldn't answer my phone for about five hours, the next one I have 116 WhatsApps. I still have to say I have not been with questions and questions, but none of from any one of you here. And I'm wondering. And if I come to ask what is it, you don't know. Why didn't you ask me before? Let's continue. We are about to finish soon. Okay. There are five things that vision does. Then we close. The first thing that a vision does for you, number one, is it contrasts your current reality. If now you are very bad with mass, but your picture is to become a, a, a doctor, you're bad with mass now, and your doctor in the future. Is it not two, two opposite things? Yes, they are opposite things. But you still want to achieve that aim. What you have to do now then? Work hard on your mass. Example the Bible. Israel, like they were very hungry. They were slaves. And God said, I'm going to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. They are two opposite things. So your vision will always contrast with your current reality. Number two, it takes you beyond where you have not where you are now. For example, you are now a student. You want to be an accountant, wearing suit and tie in the office. Is that not two different opposite things? Yes, but it's going to carry you to where you are now. Again, vision will move you out of your comfortable zone. Every day you are in your in your car chair with the PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation. But hey, you have a vision. It will take you out of that PlayStation thing to the library so that you can learn. Are you following me? Four. It makes you disciplined and focused. Jeff, so here answers your question. Vision will make you disciplined. People smoke, people drink alcohol. Why not me? Hey, no, no, I have a vision. I want to live to be 95 years. That alcohol is going to deliver, uh, uh, damage my liver. That will not let me live to 90 years. So alcohol, goodbye. Is that not a vision? It is a vision. It is disciplining me. The last one is, it makes you eager to achieve an aim in the future. She want to be an architect, right? So any drawing thing, any bridge she sees, any building she sees, we get to think of how it was being constructed. So vision, most especially, will discipline you. Vision will choose your friends for you. Like how I answered your question. So if you don't have a vision, you will by all means perish as the Bible said. You know, what, what I like about uh, fashion designers is that the moment they achieve their idea, they begin to sleep anywhere they are. <laughs> yes. Which um, the, the, the first one. Milk and hungry. Israel like, was milk and honey, but honey. Oh, milk, and, milk and honey. Oh, yes, I make a tiny mistake. Thank you. Thank you. You know, sometimes I find the message can I have to put it in there fast, fast. Oh, what is this one doing here? Do you have a vision? Yeah. Can somebody take it away from me? She has a vision to come to daddy, eh? All right, all right, all right, I'm coming. So, we, we pause for now. Next time I have a chance, or it's my turn to teach, I'll continue from here. So I'm ending by saying that, I'll give you a homework. Every one of you is going to write what he or she want to become in the future. This is my vision. Time. In the next 10, 20 years. How? Every one of you. Write on paper and bring it to me on Sunday. I told you, you're going to transform the Bible square to our lives. Right? Good. I'm done with my teachings. Questions? 
No question? Shaki, you are talking. You said you wanted to be a, an accountant, right? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. How good is your maths? Uh, why do you want to be an accountant instead of a lawyer? <laughs> yes, yes. I want to hear from you. Because, yeah. But there's money in it. So, eh? <laughs> so far, there's money, so you want to be an accountant. Okay. All right. And you? Yes. Uh, engineer. Engineer. Yeah. Good. What kind of engineer? Uh, mechanical. mechanical engineer. In cars or in machinery? Uh, machine. Machines like? Uh, all machines and that, and freezing and stuff like that. Okay. How do you get there in 10 years from now? What? How do you get there in 10 years from now? We do, we do anything for the same thing with the same We or you? No, I think I can. We or you? But we want to wear it. You want to wear it? Yeah. Okay. 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 Alright. The assignment I gave you is taken from the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. The Lord said to me, write the vision. You see that? So the vision you have, don't let it be in your mind. Write it. Did I write a Bible? Is that in your Bible? He said, write the vision. Make it plain on tablets. Or on your paper. Or on your book. Or on your tablet like a one and a half. Make it plain. Plain means explain it. And again, so that he may run who reads it. That doesn't mean I am running and reading it. No. It means when you bring your vision to me, it must cause me to do something for you. There's a guy in Antwerp, PWC, he's a um, suit designer. He spoke to me about this kind of things. I gave him one, two, three, four, five things, and then the guy is now free, man. He's now, you know him? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he, Yeah, he's, we talk, and now he's now doing his business. It's all from here. God didn't make anybody do, man. No. Everybody is filled up with potentials. But put your dreams on paper. So next week, your assignment is you're going to read Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 to 3, and the vision you have, write them on paper and bring it to me on Sunday. I'm going to check it. And if you don't come on Sunday, here's a school. Here's uh, punishment. Uh, thank you, Mr. Arnold. I'll put Mr. Arnold at the door. He's going to knock your stomach three times. Amen. Amen. If no questions, let's go on our feet. Oh, you have a question? Mm -hmm. Is it possible that I can have much, much fishes than one? Sure. Because sometimes I, I want to be this, I would not to be that. And sometimes I'm being said, I have ever wished to be a van driver for one month. So can I have, is it possible to have so many? If you have so many visions, let me explain this to you by looking at my clock now. Sandra, look at me. I want to see what time is it. Can I see it? No. Why? You have to take your time. I have to. I have to. I have to. Take your time. Oh, yeah. Why did I put this illustration? You need time to focus on one thing. You want to be an air hostess, you need time. You are now 19, you need time. Air hostess operating four or five years, you finish. Are you still 19? No, you are 24. When you finish, you have to go and work. What time again do you have for another thing? That's what I'm saying. So focus on one, maximum two. But at least end of the result will be one. Mr. Watson is now accountant. If you want to further up in the same accountant, right, you can step further to chartered accountant, right? You have it there. And then further on to the highest in the same accounting. That means you have a vision within the vision. But not vision to become a bias driver, vision to become an air hostess, vision to become, no, that one, you, 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 you spoil everything. But have one vision within the vision, you can have multiples of upgraded visions. We are about to close. Yes, last question. Um, my question is 
at what age do you have to focus on one one vision? Because now I have a, a sister who <coughs> have to choose a course. Yes. And now she's asking question. I want to do this. I want to be that. And she's asking me what I think, and I don't know what she can. She do. doesn't have a vision. That's what I'm saying. Like for that's what uh, Sandra said. Like she got, she wants to be this. She wants to be that. She has more. So at what age then can you say you can focus on one vision? Age. Yeah. No age. Mm -hmm. Listen here. Now. That's why I brought the what the insights, the telescope one. Yeah, we are looking far into a future with a vision. Yeah, she is maybe twenty years. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh. We got. <laughs> then her telescope can very long. Then picture, let her picture herself what she want to be. The definition of the vision comes in here. The mental image of what the future could be. She want to be uh, a baker. Picture herself in a bakery uniform in the back right with the bread thing and stuff. That's a mental picture, right? Now you take a step backwards. I'm now 14. Which operating should I have to do to become a baker? Oh, it's just six months uh, uh, operating. That means even before my 15th birthday, I am a baker already. <laughs> That's one aspect of it. But she picture herself being a judge. Right? That big vision she has requires a lengthy time. So if she is 14 years now, by 20 years that she could become a child, you have a lot of things to do in between. So your current age plus what you have visualized in the future will be equal to the time you need. So I can be 50 years now and can still have my, my, my vision. Yes. It's not. Always be an elder here. No, I want to be um, a pope. Oh. It's an example, eh? Yeah. It's an example. <laughs> it's an example. So then, I'm not going to disqualify. It's a wrong vision. Or maybe I want to be a pastor. Okay. A pastor has gone to a pastoral school. Uh, how many years? I begin to check. Oh, by the time I'm 55. I graduated my pastoral school after being a pastor. It's also a vision. No matter how old I am, I can still have it. So, vision has no age boundary, but depends on how you want to achieve it. Amen. Amen. Let you have it. So, James. James, come on, please. We are praying very short.